So the next activity is super fun. It's called Whip It. And what we're going to do is make whipped cream and butter in mason jars. So all you need are two small mason jars. We got the half pint size. These are good because um, they fit in your hands nicely. And since we'll be shaking them pretty hard for a long time, um, we want to make sure that they fit in the student's hands. So a half pint's pretty good. Then you also want to get heavy whipping cream. Heavy is best. We want the high, high fat content that's super important for this. And then it's optional, but it's good. A little bit of vanilla and a little bit of sugar. So all we did was measure um, a half cup of cream into each jar and just in one of the jars, not both, for the one that I want to become whipped cream, I'm gonna measure in a quarter teaspoon of sugar. We don't want too much. And a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. And that's enough just to give the whipped cream a nice sweet taste. For the one that we want to turn into butter, we're just gonna leave it plain because we don't want sweet butter. So put the lids on. Make sure the lids are on tight. And each group of four is going to make a jar of butter and a jar of whipped cream. And it's actually perfect because it takes so much shaking that they're definitely gonna have to switch off. Their arms are gonna get tired. So that's it. What they're gonna do is agitate, and agitate is just a fancy word for shake, both jars at the same time um until they get whipped cream and butter you could have them predict which one will happen first will the whipped cream become whipped cream first or will the butter become butter first as always for any kind of claim or prediction they make they have to give a reason for it um and every i would say every three minutes they can stop and open the jars and check to see what the creams look like so always always encourage them to make observations um whoa. My hands are tired already. <laughs> we're going to take a little bit of a break. While we're on a break, what I want you to remind the students, and this is going to be in the, the opening, is that milk and cream are natural emulsions. And ask them again what an emulsion is. And, and they should say that an emulsion, like the salad dressing, is a mixture of two substances that usually don't mix together. So like oil and vinegar and oil and water. In milk, you have water and you have fat. Usually they don't mix together, but ask the kids, what will hold two substances that usually don't mix together together? And they should review or recall from the previous lesson that an emulsifier will hold it together. Ask them in the salad dressing experiment to name one of the emulsifiers and they could say mustard or honey. Um, and you could say, in this case, milk and cream, which is the, the fatty top portion of milk has a natural emulsifier in it called casein and that's what keeps it together. So we have cream, which is an emulsion, which means it has an emulsifier in it. That's something they have to keep in mind as they're shaking. <laughs> Don't forget to ask them the guiding questions. So as they shake, say, make observations. What do both jars look like? Um, the cream, it's pretty thick and it's covering the sides of the jar. So you can't really see inside the jar anymore. We could open it up and, and see. Um, you could see some air bubbles forming already. This is only within the first three minutes or so. There's air bubbles. Okay. Seems to be a little bit thicker. It's actually getting fluffier. So ask them, what does that mean? It's getting fluffier. Why is it fluffy? What's being worked into the jars? And hopefully they say air, which is right. We're working air into the cream mixture. And I don't know if you could hear it on camera, but there's a, you could still hear the liquid sound like that. That's a good observation to make too, because eventually that's going to change. You're going to stop hearing that. If you can hear this, or I should say, if you can't hear this, you shouldn't hear anything. There's no sound. And that's an observation that they should make as well. Something happened at first you could hear the liquid and now there's nothing. So it's changing. It's state of matter, it seems like. Let's open it. This was the whipped cream one. Okay, I don't know if you could see that, but it's already becoming whipped. Let's show you with the spoon. So, 
it's not dropping out at all. And actually, it's only been three minutes. So the first time I tried it, it was a lot longer, five minutes. But um, it's not as, see how it's kind of folding over. I want it to be a little bit more stiff. So I'm going to shake it some more. So I think the whipped cream is ready. Let's take it out again and show you. Ta-da! So, yeah, it's really whipped at this point. You can test it out. So the lesson plan says that the kids have to go up to you to get your approval. That's actually whipped cream. And it is. It's holding its shape. And so you can give them their piece of fruit or their graham cracker, whatever they're going to use to eat it with. And they can definitely eat it. It tastes really good. So we have the whipped cream right there that took about four minutes, I would say, of shaking. I just ate it with the spoon. I mean, the kids shouldn't do that. They should scoop it onto their fruit. But here we go. So we're going to put the whipped cream aside. That works really well. We're still working on the butter. And so I just lost the liquid sound in the butter. And uh, we'll check and see if it's turning into whipped cream like the other jar is. And it is. So that's at whipped cream stage. And now we want to get it to butter. So when we were making the whipped cream, what we were doing was incorporating air into the mixture. And um, it, I mean, here we're going to get into like the hard chemistry. But what happens with emulsions, you might remember this from the emulsion salad dressing lesson, is that the emulsifying agent has a water-loving end and a fat-loving end. So it forms a bond between the oil and the water. In this case, the emulsifying agent in cream also has a fat-loving end and a water-loving end, and so it forms a, a bond between the fat and the water molecules. But when you start shaking it, you incorporate a whole lot of air, and be, the shaking action also starts breaking the bonds between the emulsifier and the fat. So when the fat goes free, it still hates water, so it doesn't want to hang on to the water, so it's going to hang on to the other thing that's now in the mixture, which is air. So what happens is that kind of surrounds the air and creates the structure that whips the cream. So as the air is going in there and the bonds between the emulsifier and the fat are breaking, the fat kind of just hugs the air and traps the air in there, which is why you get fluffy whipped cream. This is like a this is a workout. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna keep on shaking and the kids should still make observations. So it seems like we're, it's really thick whipped cream at this stage. And they're gonna keep on trying to say it's butter. It's not butter. Like when it looks like butter, you'll know. It'll almost be, tell the kids to watch really closely, kind of like after minute five, just like watch it like a hawk. It's like this magic moment that happens. Whew. Okay. So you don't hear anything anymore, and it seems like the cream is really sticking to the sides of the jar. And it's at this point, it's becoming really hard whipped cream. Um, and I'll tell you what we're looking for. We're going to look for a plop noise, and you know it exactly when it happens. All of a sudden, it goes from being absolutely silent to a plop and then a slop. And what you're going to eventually see is... <laughs> Um, I don't want to stop the camera. We want to we want to capture this moment on screen. So I'm just gonna keep on shaking on camera. Um, what it is is uh, you'll get a little ball of butter, kind of slopping around in liquid buttermilk. So what happened was you had the whipped cream, right, where all the fat it had been released from the emulsifier, so it's clinging onto the air. As you keep on shaking whipped cream, you're now forcing all the air back out again. And the fat still doesn't want to hang on to the water because fat and water don't like each other still. And so it's going to hang on to something else. It's going to hang on to other fat molecules. And so all the fats clump together into a little solid ball, which is butter. And then it leaves behind the liquid, which is buttermilk. And so that's the stage we want to get to. Oh, I just heard a plop. So we could open it. You could see it's pulled away from the sides. 
Can you hear it now? The plop. And it's plopping back and forth. Maybe you could open it. And in the lab, it says that the students have to check with you to see if they've made it. So it's kind of um, chunky at this point. It's not quite butter. We want it to solidify a little bit more. But it's kind of turned yellow at this point as well. There's a color change. Oh, see how it's all pulling from the side? It's because the buttermilk is beginning to separate from the butter. Oh, that's so cool. So, oh! So excited, I knocked over the camera. Let's keep on shaking. And you could definitely hear it now, the plopping. Um, and I'm just gonna pour it. Let's check one more time. It's like magic happened right before my eyes. Okay, can you see that? So what was whipped cream, or what started out as just whipping cream, then turned into whipped cream, is now butter solids and liquid buttermilk, which I'm pouring out. And people don't really drink buttermilk. Well, some people do. They could actually taste the buttermilk. It's just buttermilk. So do you see what's in there? It's like fluffy. It's fluffy butter. It is butter. I mean, that's not just, you could tell that it's yellow. Okay. So I actually want it to be a little bit more stiff now that we've poured out the buttermilk. Whew. That was tiring. I need to work out more. Okay. So it's, we're getting more of the buttermilk to leave the butter solids. So it's super sloppy in there. Slushing around, let's pour out more of the buttermilk. That's more of the buttermilk. Okay, we can look in there. Butter! So the butter, now that we're kind of getting rid of a lot of the buttermilk, it's becoming a little bit more thick. Let's just keep on shaking. So that took um, about seven minutes. Whew. Pour out the milk. So what you have in there is a ball of butter. I'm gonna... Take a piece of raisin bread so you can see. Here's my pop of butter, so you could give the kids some bread as well, and they get to it spread so smooth, just like butter. Oh, this is so awesome. I'm going to taste it. It's really good. It tastes exactly like butter. Sometimes people like to add a little bit of salt to it at this stage after it's turned a little, so it's kind of like salted butter. But I like mine plain. Oh, that is awesome. Here. Check out the plate, but I'll just scoop it onto the, the lid so you can see. Woo! There is our butter in a jar. So I don't know if the kids will catch on to this, so you might want to point it out to them. So imagine the salad dressing that was an emulsion, right? But it was only temporary, so to make it permanent, what we had to do was add an emulsifying agent. So we added the mustard or the honey, whatever, we shook it up. And it made those two uh, substances stick together. With this experiment, we started with cream, which was already an emulsion, and then we shook it and changed its structure, and we shook it some more, and we made an emulsion separate out again. So in effect, we just reversed the emulsion process, which is, Kind of blowing my mind at this moment, but yeah, so it's cool. We took a permanent emulsion that was already mixed and held together with an emulsifier and we made it separate out again. We turned it into the liquid and into the fat. So here's another question that I had, and I actually haven't tried it, so I can't answer it. If we put the butter <laughs> and the buttermilk back into the jar and we kept on shaking, can we reverse the reverse emulsion process and get cream again. I have no idea. Maybe the kids can try it out and see, but I was just excited that we got butter. So that is the whippet experiment.